All right, so let's take a look at addition. So addition corresponds to putting sets of objects together, and written numbers tell us how many of which units. And if we put these two ideas together, this means that we can add as soon as we can count. Drawing helps, but it's optional. It's very useful, but we don't absolutely need to do it. But we do need to keep in mind the most important idea here, arithmetic is bookkeeping. So, for example, let's say I had these numbers 104 base 5 plus 42 base 5. Wait a minute. Remember that how you speak influences how you think. This is a number written in base 5. It is not 104. This is 104 base 5. This is 42 base 5. How you speak influences how you think. And the reason that this is important is that arithmetic is bookkeeping. When we write 104 base 5, we mean we have 1 something, 0 of something, and 4 of something. Likewise, 4 2 base 5 tells us we have 4 somethings and 2 somethings and we can set down the amounts that we actually have and because we're adding we can run them together and because we're working in base 5 we only have names for the amounts up to 5 we only have the symbols for amounts up to 4 and what this means we have to look for sets of 5 to bundle into larger units and so we'll go ahead and do that bundling so here's a set of five cubes, and these will bundle up into one block. Oh, look, now I have a set of five blocks, and these will bundle up into one large block. And I don't have any more sets of five to put together. So I can write down my final answer. Arithmetic is bookkeeping. What I have are two of these large units, zero of the blocks, and one cube. And to get our final form, we'll drop the unit designations, and then we'll remind everybody that we are working in base 5. And so our final answer is going to be not 201 base 5, but 201 base 5.